you know what? Lately, I'm losing count of the amount of MPs that are tearing the BBC a new one. Old Peter Bone is standing up as well. Did you see his question in Parliament the other day on PMQs? I put a link to the video I made down below somewhere. You'll find it. It's on the channel somewhere. And now we've got this one. Look at this story. Can't call themselves British Broadcasting Corporation. Rosendale rips into woke BBC. Don't know why I read that so aggressively, to be honest. But when I hear the words rips into BBC, I start to use my aggressive voice. Anyway, let's read on. Tory ministers have called for God Save the Queen to be played at the end of broadcasting, a proposal which has been criticised by many. That's because there isn't an end of broadcasting, is there? In a statement, the BBC explained, we no longer play the national anthem on a daily basis on BBC One because it doesn't close down in the evening. I guess you could put it on, you could put it on at midnight, but it just, I don't know, I don't know, it seems a bit American. Next they'll be making the kids in school do a pledge of allegiance to the crown or something. Maybe that's a good thing too. Might, might sort some of the kids out. I don't know. I don't know. The BBC is meant to be the British Broadcasting Corporation, Rosendahl said to Dan. And this is the year of the Queen's Platinum Jubilee. I frankly am sick of all this woke stuff. I don't think you can... I can't put everything under the woke banner, can you? It's just it's a tradition that doesn't happen anymore. There's many traditions that don't happen anymore. That's just one of them. Should we bring it back? Well, yeah, maybe, I don't know. But I don't think you can put it under the woke banner this time, come on. I want this country to be proud of our heritage, our traditions, our monarchy, our flag. I'm fed up with all of it. I want these things restored so our young people have a sense of pride and belief in our country once again. Yeah, I'm all for that. All for that. I think children should be brought up to believe and be proud of this country. What a wonderful place it is most of the time but we'll just put in the national anthem on at midnight when kids are in bed anyway it said here i want our young people so young people so the kids are going to be asleep by then anyway and the young people that have been out on the lash will come home or whatever watching telly they're going to be watching netflix or something at midnight anyway aren't they so they're not even going to see the national anthem i think this is just an old fuddy-duddy mp missing the 50s or something isn't it that's what it sounds like to me if the BBC can't put the National Anthem back on for 30 seconds at the end of the day's programming, then they can't call themselves the British Broadcasting Corporation anymore. I wish I could do one of them fuddy-duddy old man posh voices. I don't do voices, but that, <laughs> that paragraph there would be perfect for that, wouldn't it? It's time to get this back on track, and this is the year to do it for the Queen's Jubilee. Singing and hearing the National Anthem is something I hope all young people should appreciate. Yeah, I don't think he knows many young people at the moment, does he? I remember hearing on the BBC when I was a teenager and I thought, oh, that's a national anthem. And it made me feel a sense of belonging to this country. Yet yeah, that's the only argument for it, isn't it? But, you know, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, yeah, I don't think anyone's going to be watching it, are they? No one's going to be watching it. Most people aren't watching BBC at night. Anyway, the kids are in bed. And like the young people that he wants to reach aren't even watching BBC at night, are they? They've got Netflix on, they're watching a film. I, I, it just sounds like some fuddy-duddy old MP who's stuck in the 50s. <laughs> and um, yeah, I mean, there is, there is some stuff we need to do to make our younger people feel more proud to be British and to have a proper British identity. I get that. But it ain't going to be solved by putting God Save the Queen on at midnight on BBC One, is it? Well, I don't know. What do you think? Maybe I'm being fusty and old as well, which is possible. I get called that quite a lot, mostly by the missus. Let me know what you think, if that's a good idea, down in the comments below, and we'll have a chat about it as always, shall we? And, uh, yeah, I'll see you in another video again soon. Thanks for watching.